Hello and welcome to Mecha Encyclopedia, a series that covers the Mecha Encyclopedia section from the Super Robot Wars games. The information provided will be solely from the games. In this video, we'll go over the Allied Code Geass Lelouch of the Resurrection movie units featured in Super Robot Wars 30. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. The first unit we'll take a look at is the Gecko A Sui. Main pilot, Lelouch. Subpilots, C2. Size, 1S. Height, unknown. Weight, unknown. The Gecko A Sui is a large, dual-seat nightmare frame for commander use. It was jointly developed by Rakshata as chairman of the United Federations of Nations Scientific Committee and by her own private foundation, the Pearl Party. This nightmare frame is considered to be part of the same development line as the Gawain and the Shinkiro, which were also piloted by Lelouch. The Gekkoi was intended to be an electronic warfare unit, but since Lelouch needed to be on the front lines, it was equipped with leg segments developed from the Gawain's line, and its arsenal was expanded, becoming the Gekkoi Sui. It has a full loadout of offensive weaponry from the technological resources of the Joint Strike Knights program, including the Diffusion Structure Phase Transition Cannon, dubbed the Absolute Zero Beam, and the Hadron Blaster. Attacks include Hadron Shot, CL Sword, Absolute Zero Beam. The unit comes equipped with the Absolute Defense System, a barrier nullifying any attacks that do less than 4,000 damage, and a jamming device, increasing accuracy and evasion of two adjacent allied units by 10%. The next unit is the Lancelot Sin. Main pilot, Suzaku Kururugi. Subpilots, none. Size, 1S. Height, unknown. Weight, unknown. The Lancelot Sin is a next generation nightmare frame in the Lancelot series. It was designed to return this model to its roots as a leading weapon, guiding the troops into the front line. Its most distinctive features are the dual C7 anti-material Varus rifles, a fusion of Britannian and Black Knight's technology and the cocoon mounted on the left shoulder. The cocoon is a large battery that also doubles as a physical shield, providing a significant increase in operational time. The output of the energy wings has been increased, which in turn improved the defensive power of the blaze luminous, as well as the cutting power of the energy blades. Furthermore, the Lancelot Sin can equip the Frame Coat, a device designed for combat against multiple enemy units. Attacks include energy wings, Varus, MVS, combination attack. The unit comes equipped with the Blaze Luminous, a barrier reducing all damage by 1000, along with the shield, taking only 40% damage when defending. The next unit is the Lancelot Albion Zero, a secret unit. Main pilot, Suzaku Kururugi. Subpilots, none. Size, 1S. Height, 5.15 meters, weight 9.12 tons. The Lancelot Albion Zero is Zero, Suzaku's, personal nightmare frame. A nightmare frame designed by Rakshata's private foundation, the Pearl Party, for the Joint Strike Knights program. It is based on designs from Lloyd's research on the Holy Britannian Empire's nightmare technology, but with the addition of Rakshata's know-how. It operates on par with the Grand Satan, Eight Elements. With Schneisel's approval, Zero had it repainted into a black and purple color scheme for his personal use. Zero named the unit himself based on its development code name. It is extremely powerful, but Zero elected not to use it too aggressively. Attacks include Energy Wings, Varus Full Burst Mode, MVS Super Varus, MVS Dual Swords. The unit comes equipped with the Blaze Luminous, a barrier reducing all damage by 1500 along with the shield taking only 40% when defending. The next unit is the Gren Type Special. Main pilot, Kalen Kozuki. Subpilots, none. Size, 1S. Height, unknown. Weight, unknown. The Gren Type Special is a next generation nightmare frame in the Gren series. Inheriting the unique traits of its predecessors, this Gren was designed to be used in environments with adequate fuel supplies. For this reason, both its energy output and consumption have been increased by about 10% compared to previous generations. Its flight system is a modification of glide wings, incorporating Britannian float unit technology, sensibly improving mobility and turning performance. Its defensive functions have also been upgraded, 
with the Radiant Shield now able to fully cover the Nightmare Frame. Its right arm built-in, armor-piercing, wired, free-moving radiation wave unit has been enhanced, radiating waves over a wider area. Moreover, the defensive rotating radiation wave unit can be deployed as a veritable drill and used as a piercing weapon. Additional close-ranged weapons include the Composite Guidance Hind Soga, Improved Slash Hargens, as well as the Netsuzanto Test Type Short Blade. Furthermore, the Gren Type Special can equip the Frame Coat, a device designed for combat against multiple enemy units. Attacks include Composite Guidance Hind Sogas, Test Model Number 1 Heat Sword, Wave Surger Long Range, Wave Surger. The unit comes equipped with the Radiant Wave Shield, a barrier reducing all damage by 1500. And that's it for the entries here. Technically, the Lancelot Albion Zero is under the Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion 3 glorification movie, but I figured I'd add it here since it's the odd unit out of the bunch. And interestingly, is the only unit that has its height and weight listed. All the units for Code Geass are very solid in Super Robot Wars 30. They all come with map attacks and are very tanky despite being 1S, mostly due to their barriers. If you love Code Geass, you'll have no problems getting good use out of them in this game. Let me know how you feel about these units, whether in the game or from their respective media. And that's it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.